Hello, welcome back to The Art of Cycling. I'm Greg, Greg Leach. Appreciate you all stopping in for the uh, very last of the Tour de France paintings. This, of course, is the Tour de France Femme, but I, they've actually switched up uh, announcers on me, so we're back to um, Bob and Phil, Bob Roll and Phil Liggett, who had, of course, done the coverage of the all of the men's race. But um, it had been Anthony McCrossin and uh, Hannah Walker. So now we have Megan Gardier. You know, they're making sure they have a woman announcing for the women's race, which I guess is appropriate. So this race is ending with a time trial which is always um, makes for a little bit interesting of a final stage because if you did watch all these videos, the last stage of the men's race, a lot of it is processional until they get onto the Champs-Elysees. And um, there they race. And this year, of course, there's a little more racing than is traditional but um, so there's a real ceremonial there's time to celebrate there's champagne toasts and all of that kind of stuff that when you finish on a time trial it means you're racing I mean I don't know how you would do a champagne you would have to be so far ahead <laughs> to be able to play, pull that one out for the cameras in the middle of a time trial stage. And it will be interesting. I actually know that's right. I <laughs> thought that wheel was a little high, but as I look at the image here that I'm painting from of Lati, Lati Capecchi, who the first stage I painted her, she wasn't in yellow. And then here it is, the last stage. And she's not in yellow again. But she actually had been the leader in the green jersey competition. She just, because she was wearing yellow, she wasn't wearing this jersey. But with the climb yesterday, I don't like where that is, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? <laughs> I call this from yellow to green. Look, I didn't forget. Forget the date for a minute there. So when I paused this painting, I hadn't really thought. Yeah, you know, I knew that, of course, she had switch traded her green jersey for a yellow jersey. But I hadn't realized that this banner, which will be yellow, was a nice from yellow to green um, underscore of just that idea. So sometimes, you know, I try to pick images that, you know, tell the story of the racing. I try to be visually interesting, but I also, you know, there goes Pimp, just to chime in whenever I start painting. Not quite sure what he's up, up in arms about today. It is Sunday. We do 
do have a church next door, so maybe he's letting the churchgoers know that you still don't get to walk in front of his yard even on Sunday. So as this is the last video of cycle racing, perhaps for the year, the um, obviously I've been painting bike racing with uh, two days exception and one day was two races um, for the entire month of July from July 1st well let's be fair didn't paint on July 31st so three days out of the month there wasn't racing and one day there was two days of racing two races in one day so I appreciate you all coming along for the ride. Where I, was, where I was going with that was, there is the World Championships, and they start very soon, like shockingly soon. And it might be because they are um, racing in Scotland. And um, so I think they're racing a little earlier. Normally it's mid-September, but um, so you're there racing in early August. So I may be just, I'm, you know, this is, takes a lot of effort. I mean, I love doing it, but it's still, of course, a huge time commitment to bring you these Oops, it's too much yellow still on my brush. There we go. Yeah, basically all I have done in July is paint bicycle racing. And I'm not complaining by any stretch. I love doing it. But it is kind of... Um, so to go right into painting the championships this close to the end of the um, Tour de France just isn't going to be possible. Plus, we've um, got an art opening at the State Library the same day the um, racing starts, I think. Maybe it starts the next day. But anyway, I have a lot of other things that need addressing. So, I most likely, am, I'll watch, <laughs> but I won't be painting the uh, World Championships this year. Wasn't that long ago, I couldn't. You never got to see them. While streaming has its problems, and my wife is an actor and a member of the Screen Actors Guild, so I can wax poetic about the problems, but, um, and I won't do that here. It's just about my so but they do you do have an opportunity to see things you may not get to see otherwise just because you know airplay on broadcast TV is um I mean, even with all the channels, it's still a competition to get things on air. And I've fallen in love with a sport that while it's gotten infinitely more popular than it once was, I mean, I remember it as a kid, it was just crazy to think you would get to watch the Tour de France here in the States. But 
did change in the um, mid to early 1990s. And that, yes, that's before Lance started racing, but of course that really blew up. and sense of increase interest and coverage when Lance was racing and winning. <laughs> Oops. So, well, I love the idea of this from yellow to green as a title. This green jersey and the green background are clearly rather similar. And I've talked before about my um, dislike of the new green jersey. And what I don't get is, is I'm pretty sure it's still the same sponsor. I hope they will give it a rethink and go back to the much brighter green jersey because this two-tone mint and forest green just doesn't quite cut it. Yeesh. Also it doesn't cut it, it's not matching the color. <laughs> There we go. It's a little dark, but that's controllable by just more or less water. It's also controllable by just overpainting what you've already done, which both darkens it and now jumps it free. So because watercolor is a translucent color, translucent medium, you can, um, if you overlay colors, then you get um, every time you put up another layer, you get a deeper, brighter color. Just give you a little bit of the. Um, Colors of the logo for SD Works. And now we'll move on to the quote unquote black that I always use. So this has been an exceptional race. Yesterday was What everyone ex I mean, expected it to be aggressive and most likely the lead to change hands, which it did. But the yellow jersey, latte, was quite, what's the word I want? Quite exceptional in her defense of her yellow jersey. And I think it was clear her teammate, Demi Vollering, never launched an attack and they stayed together and stayed together. And then once their collective rival, well two, first when um, Cassie Neodoma went. They stuck together and didn't really go, but then once Van Bluten took off, then Demi had to go, and at that point, pretty sure Lottie was like, look, I'm not going to be able to hold the jersey. You go get it. After all, this whole race has been for you anyway. So she's had an incredible race secured 
an unassailable lead in this green jersey competition two days ago. It's the first of the jerseys to definitively be set. And what Cassio did yesterday, Cassie did yesterday, guaranteed that she will be the polka dot jersey. So that was the second jersey set. And then really, it's unlikely that the yellow jersey will change hands or the white jersey, but it's possible. So this is the piece, I do believe. Time to remind you to, of course, if you've not already scribed, please do. Of course, as I say, this is the end of the cycling season. But if you subscribe, you'll know when I start back up again with the tour down under in January. But also, you'll find that I'll be posting work from my studio, my non-cycling art activities. Like I said, I've got an opening So, so if you subscribe, you'll, you'll know when those things pop up, particularly if you put the notifications on. Of course, I'd love to know what you think about all of both the men's and women's Tour de France this year. If you go to my cycling blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com, you'll be able to read about everything. There you'll find a link that will take you over to see the, um, what's the word I want? Um, links where you can purchase the works and... Um, and that's gregleach.com. I probably said that. Sorry, I got confused there. I was thinking about. So on the backs of these, I always label the back. Of course, you can see that that one, I started and didn't like what I did. So I redid the piece. I don't succeed every single time I start one. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed cycling and watching cycling and watching the paint cycling. And now I get to go for a bike ride tomorrow. Thank you all.